Hey there, super short post on analyzing your SEO results. How do you know if your SEO is working? We get this question a lot. We've got a full post on LearnDigitalAdvertising.com. Let's jump right in. Uh, today we are just going to use one single tool to analyze progress for organic search optimization. And this is Google Search Console. So in the post we describe how to claim your property here. Um, you're going to need to do that. Uh, it's a free tool. Uh, you just have to kind of show Google that you actually own the website to get this data. Uh, what we're going to do is jump into the performance report. Um, and what we're going to basically be looking at, there's two ways to look at this. If you're in very early stages of SEO, you know, you may look at Google Analytics or something and see that there isn't a lot of extra traffic at this point in time. And that doesn't mean that what you're doing or what you're paying somebody to do isn't working. Um, it just means that you're not actually at that traffic stage yet. So when we look at like early stage analysis, what we're actually going to do is check some charts that instead of giving us traffic, that's why we're not in Google Analytics, we're using Search Console, because this is going to give us the actual impressions. We're going to look at just the impressions um, for the site. So what I would say the best way to do this is to first go to your date range selector, and you're going to do a comparison here. Now, what you want to do is do your start and end date based on pretty much when you started SEO. And I, I would encourage you to at least get like three months under your belt before even trying to do this, because uh, you're not going to see much before that. Um, and that's not entirely true. You can see it sooner, but just it's a safe, it's a safe number. And what I'm going to do just for the sake of this demonstration is I'm going to compare three months to the previous three months, just assuming that I started my SEO efforts three months ago, and I'm going to hit apply. And now what I'm going to get is two trend lines. Um, you can see the non-dotted line, the solid line, is the most recent three months. So this is the period since I started SEO. The dotted line is the period before. And what I'm looking at is how is that trended differently? So what I can see is at the beginning of my three month period, uh, I had about the same number of impressions, obviously, as I did during the previous period. And that makes sense, right? Because when this line ends, this starts. And what you'll see over time, though, is that my newer period solid line starts to increase. It's definitely trending upward, a very clear trend. So all other things equal, it does look like on this particular property, um, we are getting far more impressions now than we were before. Now, again, this is really important if your site is brand new or if you've never done SEO before, because a lot of times you know, what you're going to see are impressions long before you get clicks. So just to define an impression quickly, uh, you know, many times people will Google a certain query. You may show up in the results set. It doesn't mean the user clicked on you, right? There's lots of ads. There's lots of other things they could have clicked on. So um, again, you don't, you, you, in Google Analytics, you'd measure those clicks um, once they do come. But in the early stages, you might just see impressions first. Um, now, if we're going to look at this in the later stages, obviously at some point with our SEO, we want to see actual clicks, right? That's how we're going to do more business. Uh, so we're going to just switch over our metric here to clicks. And it's going to be a similar type of analysis where we're going to keep the same date range comparison. And we're just going to try to see our peaks, right? These are our daily clicks. And again, we can see that as this all started, uh, you know, we had about the same number of clicks. But over time, definite trend where our peaks are getting higher and higher and higher. So maybe before we only had 40 clicks, now we have 171. And that's that's really the trend we're going to look for more in the later stages. Now, unfortunately, the analysis isn't really complete just doing this, um, because obviously there are external factors. Now, you may be in an industry that's seasonal, and it may have be a natural trend upward. So you do have to consider that in, in any sort of analysis is what external factors also might be you know, factoring in. Some other things you can actually do here, let's say you're a larger site and you have an SEO company working and all they're doing is blogging for you, for example. You could take a subset of pages simply by adding a filter here and use the page contains and you know maybe it's um, blog and I don't think for this particular site that's going to do much, but maybe we'll just look at like the data studio section of our site. And what this is going to do now is filter, we can kind of do this same analysis for a subset of pages on our site. So if your SEO company is working on a specific section or you know type of content, depending on your URL structure, you may be able to focus that out. So in this particular example, you know we started creating actually a lot of Data Studio content about three months ago, and what you can see impression-wise is you know a definite trend towards more traffic there. 
Um, again, if we were in earlier stages, we would just jump over to impressions and we'd want to look at that, right? So in the previous three month period, we didn't really have all that much traffic for Data Studio and now we see that trend upward. So just one way to use Google Search Console in our opinion, maybe one of the best ways to look at the actual you know, impression and traffic data. Obviously you want to look at other things like new backlinks and stuff like that. They're all going to affect SEO as well, but um, you know, hopefully this gives you a good starting point and understanding. Thanks.